reason that this is weird is it's not even a magic trick. Uh, and it dies. Truly, it is. An experiment in intuition. It's not based on sleight of hand. It's actually it's based on something called NLP. Does anybody know what it is? Tim, Tim, do you know what NLP? You ever heard of it? Neuro linguistic programming. If you Google this, this is a real thing. It is how, in fact, we're inundated daily by subliminal messages through advertising, through political rhetoric, exactly, Facebook, whatever, you know. Uh, and the way it works is you can use specific words to influence the way people react, respond, and remember. And this is what this is. This is an experiment in intuition based on NLP. And some people think NLP is quackery and it's not a thing, but I, we'll, 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 we'll see. I want you to give the cards a little bit of a mix. This is not so important because it's not really like a card trick or whatever, but I want you to at least feel comfortable that, that they're not in any special order or whatever. I'm not very good at shuffling. It doesn't even matter. You know, you can just spread them around on the table. I don't really care. You know, it just doesn't, you know, like I say, this is immaterial to what's about to happen because it's not, not actually a trick. She's doing great. She's doing great. She's doing fantastic. In fact, I tell you what. We don't, it, like I said, it doesn't even matter. Mix. Pull out any three cards you want. They can be from the same part of the pack. They can be from different parts of the pack. Makes no difference to me. He doesn't give a shit. Just do it. She's working on it. Relax. Relax. Here's his annex. <laughs> as long as you wash it down with a cocktail. That's sort of the rule, right? Okay. Now I tell you what, hang on to those. You keep those. And what I want you to do is I want you to look at them as though you were looking at a poker hand, okay? Now I want you to mentally select. Just think of one of those cards. Nobody else here knows which one you're thinking of. In fact, change your mind as many times as you like, as long as you are going to arrive on one that you're going to think of more so than the others. Have you got one in mind? Okay, now I want you to know not only the card you're thinking of, but also its position relative to the other two. It's either the top, the middle one, or the bottom one. You know where it is, right? In fact, I tell you what, hold the cards like this. And I'm going to have you slowly begin to mix the cards, but in your mind, I want you to follow where your card is going. <coughs> Excuse me. Do you think you know where your card is? Yeah. Go ahead and take a peek and verify. Is it where, you, is it, where it should be? Okay, good. That's important, because now what I want you to start doing is to start mixing the cards with reckless abandon. Do not worry about where your card is. Don't even think about it. Just, well, no, no, no. In your hand, though. In your hand. Like this. Yeah. Now, I tell you what, I want you to... You, you, I want you to get up to a point where you can honestly say, I have no idea where my card is. <laughs> okay, I want you to use your, just keep mixing them, I want you to use your strongest powers of intuition, and I want you to put the two cards that are not your card on the table now, don't think, just do it, quick. Two cards that aren't your card, name your card. Uh, of? Hearts. Turn it over. Oh! Sharp right turn to Weirdville, huh? Weird fuck. How did you? Oh. Now, I tell, what? I tell you what, if you guys are game, yes. we can try one more of these sort of things, and then we'll go back into sort of, and, and you can sort of see what the difference between the first thing I showed you that I said called commercial magic. It's just a little more fast paced. Oh, we're liking, we're liking. Groovy. We're Groovy. Liking Weirdville is the place I want to be. Give the cards a little bit of a mix. We're going to try one more experiment in intuition. I'm going to Burning Man with you next. Yeah. <laughs> All right, have you mixed the cards up? Um, we just did an interesting mental experiment that was quite successful, and we're gonna try one more. This time is going to be a little different. If I, you just mix the cards, if I were to lay two cards out, you just mix the cards. I didn't do anything. In fact, I tell you what, I don't want you to think, I don't want you to think that that's a part of the trick. Give them a little more of a mix. No. Mix them up. Get out of here. I, 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 I saw the cards. 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 I saw the cards
I call That's bullshit. not fucking right. That's <laughs> <laughs> some bullshit. Some weird <laughs> stuff is going on tonight. So That's all I'm going to say. It's a fuck. Here's a weird bill. Weird bill. Woo! Look, I am. It's a weird bill. Oh, it's a weird bill. You mix the cards. We're going to set up a hypothetical scenario, an unreal situation. If I were to lay out two cards and I asked you to mentally select one of those two cards, it would be pretty cool if I could say, you're thinking of the king, right? No, no, I'm hypothetical. If, if we were to say that, but, uh, but you know, a lot of people would say, no, that wouldn't be great because 50-50, Odds, you could always be right, right? But if I lay more cards out, the odds increase against me, right? That makes it harder for me to do. Or a couple of more, or a few more. I, I tell you what, I'm going to turn my back. I want you to no. mentally select any no. one of those cards. Don't tell anyone what it is. Don't point no. to it. Change your mind as many times as you like, as long as you're going to arrive on one card that you're going to think of more so than the others. Have you got one in mind? What's that? Yes. Uh, this is it. All right. Concentrate on your card. All right. Concentrate on your card. I'm going to go through the deck, and I want you to think of your card. I want you to think of your card. I'm going to go through the deck, and I want you to. Look for your card, but when you see it, keep a poker face. I'm going to trick, try to pick up on psychotic, I mean psychic vibrations. All right. Have you seen your card yet? We may be getting close. Did you see it? That leaves about about half the deck. This this is where things get interesting. Um, give the deck one cut. Concentrate on your card. Put both of your hands flat out like that. Without me influencing your choice, hand me one of the packets, but keep the other one for yourself. For the first time in a loud, clear voice, what was the card you really thought of? Now, I don't know if you know, we talked about NLP, and I said that I can influence the way that you, you do. Well, I, I, I influenced you to hand me this particular packet. I tell you what, turn your packet over. Oh, 